Your wife is going, suey, 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 the pigs. Like, get out of here. Somebody on the other side of the fence going, pick it, pick it, pick it. <laughs>
is going to be normally, normally, emotion first and wisdom second. Because she's a feminine male. Female. Whoa, man. I ain't making them words up. Amen. Amen. She's a feminine male. Her femininity, her emotions, her feelings, her hormones are going to jump before her wisdom does. Yeah, that's true. I didn't say she wasn't wise. Uh -huh. I didn't say you wasn't smart and intelligent. That's yeah. not what I'm saying. Because you have purpose. Yeah, if you did, you couldn't be a help me. Yeah. That's, right. that's true. You can't help me in something you don't understand. You can't comprehend. Yeah. That's true. You become a servant at that point. Yeah. So I'm not degrading the women. I'm just sharing you what the practice is. Because the husbands, the man is not built emotional. Does he have emotions? Yes. Does he have feelings? Yes. Does he have hormones? Yes. But he was built to think before he acted. Yeah. Uh -huh. Women were built to act before they think. Yeah. I'm not making it up. Did not Eve talk to, to the devil? And the devil said, who told you that? She said she was already in the gauge of an engagement of acting. Then her mind jumped in and she said, well, my husband said that God said we shouldn't do that. Uh -huh. But you already deep deep in the problem. Yes. Yes. You're in the middle of the conversation with the devil already. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yes. So he said because he knows how he built us. So he said, man, you got to think first. Mm -hmm. Because it's a good chance she's not going to think until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's going to get it, but her feelings going to come first. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have some honesty. Yes, amen. Yeah. And she's going to get mad because he ain't acting like she won't want him. Amen. You ain't mad? You ain't upset. You ain't. See, he's looking at the game. You hear me talking to you? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. You ain't. I was just looking for you. Amen. Come on, Freedom. Come on, Freedom. You're throwing him under the bus because he ain't engaged in your drama. That's true. Amen. I am. He don't know how. <laughs> he don't, yo, I, when can I help you? I'm help him out. Help him out. Now watch this. Watch this. Your fury and your antics and your emotions may be very well be justified. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. Thank you. But he don't know how to respond like that. That's true. Right. Yeah. And if you keep pushing him, what happens? He responds in a way you didn't want. You didn't want. That's true. Oh. Very true. Sometimes you got to let it go. Because he's the head, he start, He responds with authority. So he stands up and put his chest in front of you. Because he, he's the head of the wine. Y'all hear me? He's the head of the wine. When the church acts up, Christ comes and stands in authority and takes that control of his body. So you can't get mad when you keep yap, 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 and that's your husband and he checks up at you. You need to go somewhere and Frank, Frank tell me, no, I'm gone. You just gonna walk, you gonna walk out or it's gonna be a misunderstanding. His voice breaks up your teeth on You start step two. Come on, preacher. His authority is taking place. Whether he know how to use it or not. That's who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I'm trying to help y'all get along. Yeah. Yeah. Help us, help us. That is true. Hmm. Too late. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all listening? Yeah. Oh, we don't work now. <laughs> I wish I had I'm this out. all here. <laughs> Let me finish. Y'all yeah, got that? Now it's turning to Ephesians chapter 4. Let's go back to Ephesians. Go back to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3. Chapter 5. Huh? Chapter 5. Chapter 5. 
Verse 25. I'm in the practice, right? My notes say 1 Peter 3 and 7. Read your notes. <laughs> then I go to Ephesians 4 and 3. It's probably most stuff in there. Y'all can read it when y'all get home. <laughs> I keep telling you, I skipped a lot of half time. There's a lot of stuff in there. And I, I thank y'all for reading from the dime series and stuff. <laughs> right. You know, I'm glad you saw it. I want you to live by it. I know it's in there. I saw it when I was putting it together. Y'all had to pick and choose, Jackie. I can't do all of this at one time. <laughs>
says because uh, you you want you don't want your prayers to be hindered. You got to you got to work together in harmony. We should be praying together and fasting together. It shouldn't be one person going on fast. If my wife's going on fast, honey, I'm going on with you. Yeah. Amen. 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 It may have nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with you because your, that, that's your body. Because if your body want to get some na get the nails done and, and we got to fast, then because we want to get the nails done and the hair, they go, really? I, they look fine to me. But, you know, because the fingers can't see. But the body wants some treatment. Want some, you know, some special treatment. So the head says, okay, because I love my body, I'm going to give my body some special treatment. Oh, Amen. Amen. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Because I can even keep things in order. Yeah. I wish y'all hear what I'm saying. Amen. Women don't ever think, again, you have purpose and you have placement. You are the body. Y'all should have shot it on that. <laughs> Do you not know that four of the five major organs are in the body? Amen. Amen. Do you not know that 98% of your muscles is in the body? Amen. Y'all still have I'm not. <laughs> Almost there. Please, one guy. Nah, we got you, dog. We got you. The strength is in the body. Amen. The working is in the body. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 The head Amen. is just this eight-pound skull. Come on. Training. Teach. But see, while the body has all these vital organs and can do all these wonderful things mm -hmm. and can dress itself, we don't never we make up the face, we don't even cut the hair, but you know, we don't. That's a mind compared to the suit or the dress or the shoes. We styling and profile. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Because if you cut your hair bald, you can't dress that up. Are you going to shine it? You just shine Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, bowling. Oh. Men can't make, you know, lady. Oh, they they face it look totally different when they did when they woke up that morning. But Ooh. men can't. I look the way I look all day, all day. All day. Yeah, Talk to them. Oh. Our roles. Women were meant to beautify. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. That's why Amen. women generally look better than men. We weren't Amen. meant. We were meant for work and for war. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 So the best I can do is cut my hair and shave if I got some hair on my face. Amen. Yeah. And that, that's the best I can do. Yeah. From the neck up. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is. The, make, the head has all the senses uh -huh. except touch. Mm -hmm. Eyes, sight, smell, hearing, and taste. Mm -hmm. Four to five. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get you to think. You should yeah. Yeah. Four to five senses are in the head. Mm -hmm. The only other sense of touch is in the body. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's why the woman is so sensitive. Mm. Mm. All right, preacher. Okay. I'm trying to help you understand who you are. That's why you're so different. That's why, that's why it stimulates a man's head when he touches a woman. Come on. She's softer than he is. Come on. Oh. She's more beautiful than he is. Even her feet look better than her. Say that. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Keep going. You gotta understand what you were built for. Amen. You were built to help me get to where I need to go. Amen. You might help me. Amen. You are ninety-eight percent of who I am. Amen. 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 Come on now. I still ain't got no amen. 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 I'm trying to show you how powerful you are. I can't move. I can talk. But I can't uh, walk. Uh, I can see, but I can't grab nothing. Uh, and if you're the one that's touching, you're the one that's connecting, you're the one that's making stuff happen, you're the one that birthed things into yeah. being. Yeah. I, we gotta, I just see it. Come on. Yeah. I just see yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I'm going to say that one more time. I just see it, yeah. and you get the rest of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 You cultivate it, you beautify it, you correct it. 
perfected it. You worked yeah. it. You nurtured it. Yeah. You made it happen. Yeah. And I just sit back and say, "Go, you go, girl. You know you got it. Yes, Lord. Because I can't do nothing else after I did my part. I did my I'm part. I'm just going to praise you and celebrate you. Because I got a mouth to talk. Yeah. I'm going to encourage you and strengthen yeah. you for you to do your job so we both can celebrate. Because we are one. My head cannot be disconnected from my body. Amen. And let me Amen. help you understand. Do you know you ain't dead until your brain is dead? Amen. 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 He talked about the practice. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 3. Is that where Ephesians 4? Amen. Yes, verse 3. Yes, Amen. Part of the practice on top of the fact that the man should deal with his wife from a space of knowledge first. So it becomes a balance. Even if she is emotional, he kicks in knowledge. He mixes it in, which causes them to have a harmony. Watch what happens with that. She kicks in some emotion. He kicks in some knowledge. So what happens is it starts to blend. Now, she becomes a little more knowledgeable. He becomes a little more emotional. And now you got a balance. Yeah. Now you're dealing with knowledge and passion. When you got knowledge and passion working together, everything works. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, how I'm going to do it, when I'm going to do it, where I'm going to do it, who's going to do it with it. Uh -huh. My passion is driving my knowledge. My knowledge is driving my passion. We're doing it together, better together than we can ever be separate. Yeah. 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 Amen. Oh, I'm not born, y'all. Come on now, come on now. Four and three says, on top of that, you got to endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do I do it? In the bond of peace. I can't keep my spirit unified in my house if there ain't no peace in my house. So I got to be the first one. I don't care what you said, what you did, what I didn't like. I got to be the first one that's willing to put peace in the house. So close your mouth. <laughs> All right. Amen. Amen. It's hard to do this sometimes. Yeah, I know. I, I'm not talking to the male, but I'm talking to the male and the female. Close your mouth. Yeah, man. I tell you to seriously start praying while your partner is cussing and hollering mm. and talking crazy. Just start praying. Yeah. I mean, praying for real. Ooh, that. And watch how God shifts the atmosphere. Yeah. Say, excuse yeah. me, can we pray for a minute? Yeah. I don't hear about no prayer, but we're one. Yeah. That's right. We're two halves of one whole. Mm -hmm. Amen. We ain't never going to get together until we can get on one accord. And we can't seem to align ourselves together, but the Holy Ghost can. In our prayer life, I just believe God's going to reveal something to both of us that calls us to get on in line. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Our Lord. Well, <laughs> as a church mouse. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I thought. It's quiet over here. You know it's hard to do what's right. It's hard to follow the spirit when your flesh is raging. I was like, talk. It's hard to let the Holy Ghost talk to you when your flesh is talking. When you're angry, even the Bible says you can be angry but sin not. How does sin get in the picture when your anger? I don't care how right and justified you are. When your anger causes you to have a divide with you and your wife, you have not sinned. Yeah. The Bible says, whom God has put together, let no man, male or female, yeah. tear apart. Yeah. So why are you tearing apart this marriage and I'm trying to, 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 to connect with you, but you will stay in your stubborn self? Yeah. 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 And 
watch this. I can only be holy so long. But you the apostle. I wasn't born no apostle. I can lose it like anybody else. And the last thing you want to do is push, be pushing a man or woman that's trying. That's trying. Come on. You got to have no wisdom. Say, you know what? I need to go sit myself down somewhere. Come on with it. Come on with it, Treadwell. <laughs> Come on with it. Because you got to understand. What can I say? Say what you want to say. Amen. Yeah, my daughter said, say what I want to say. Yeah. say, say. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you thinking you all of that? Uh -huh. Do you not understand the longer you're married, the more your life is entangled with someone else? Yeah. yeah. The cousins, the relatives, the friends, the church folk, the more you entangle. Now, are you really? Willing to give up all of that because you're being hard headed and Come silly on, Come on, and man. immature. Are you really? Why are you standing on your You ain't got no morals. You ain't standing on the world. You're standing on your flesh. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true. When they walk out the door, what you crying for? I'm confused. Need nobody. Okay. Come on, preacher. Well, why can't? Why ain't nobody? Oh, in my house. Come on, Pastor. I need some folk that lost somebody and wish they had never lost. Talk to me. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. I'm glad I lost him. They need to be lost. It's some folk, some folk that right now wish they could lose. <laughs> They're trying to find a way. Right away. I'm trying to help y'all. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, this is a thing. See, you got to understand what you got. And you got to listen yeah. to your peer peers and your friends and what they going through. I know this. Mine ain't perfect. Oh, hold up. That's true. Very true. I think I'm going to keep what I got a little while alone. That's true. Because it could be a whole lot worse. Wow. <laughs> you got to end up. You got to work at it. keeping the bond, the keeping the spirit, but the bond of peace. You got to want to be peaceful. Yeah. So raise it up like you tough man. That's true. It's my house. It's my house. No, it's y'all house. Right. Amen. Jesus. <laughs> The women out there, how much you cook? That still is your kitchen. Y'all get out my kitchen. No, my lord. Get out my kitchen. You said to me, I'm gonna get you sideways. I bought that refrigerator and stole that island. Your kitchen. Y'all messed up my bathroom. There's 20 of us in this house. We all use the bathroom. All right. They get, they get possessive. Amen. Husbands, wives, hear me. Get possessive about your husband. Amen. Get possessive about your wife. Amen. Are y'all hearing? Yeah. I'm gonna like they're the best thing God ever gave. Amen. And you know what? Everybody is evolving. Cause you 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 will spend a lot of time uh, a try a uh, 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 nitpicking other folks' faults. Yeah. And you know you got yours. Yes, yeah. Lord. Yes, Lord. That's why the Lord says, "Don't judge one another, right. lest she be judged." Right. Uh, Jackie just talked the other Sunday. She said, uh, uh, "God forgives us how we forgive others." Amen. I feel sorry for folk keep holding grudges, can't let stuff go, won't forgive somebody. Amen. You know, God's gonna hold that same thing against you. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Because you won't forgive somebody else. Who are you? Who are you? To hold grudges or hold somebody accountable, and you can be accountable for your own self. Because nothing saves the flesh but the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. We're talking about the persons as a man and a woman. 
nothing else, a man and a woman. We talked about the protocol, how the woman should submit herself to her husband, as how the husband should deal with the wife. He's the, he, are you hearing me? Yeah. We dealt with the practice, how we ought to work to love each other and care for each other and understand each other. Amen? Amen. Lastly, the principle. Somebody said the principle. Is in Matthew chapter 19. Amen. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 19. I know y'all didn't expect to do this much work today. Amen. Y'all might as well get ready because we're going to work for the next four or five weeks. Amen. Matthew chapter 19. I want to help you become a better wife, a better husband, or better potential wife or husband. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 19, verses 4. 5 and 6. 19 verse 4, 5 and 6. 4 says, And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? This is Christ talking. Okay. Did you not read it? It says, And he said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave, this King James Version now, to his wife. And they twain, too, shall be one flesh. Amen. Amen. One flesh. Why say flesh? Why did he deal with flesh? And since I'm on the last part, why did he deal with flesh before he dealt one spirit, one mindset? One flesh. Because that's the first thing you can do uh, without a whole lot of work. Because you first learn that you're flesh before you learn that you're spirit. You knew you were flesh and you had fleshly feelings and fleshly desires and fleshly thoughts before you even knew about God. He says the two shall become one flesh. Mm -hmm. It ain't but one way you can become one flesh. Mm -hmm. I wish I had your attention. Mm -hmm. It ain't but one way. Mm -hmm. It ain't but one way mm -hmm. a man and a woman can become one flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are we right. on the same Amen. 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 We're, we're there. Amen. 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 Ain't it amazing how God made that your first responsibility? <laughs> then I lose somebody. Do I need to do, do I need no. to help? Just, We're so there. Little, We're yeah. there. We got it. We got you. If you got it, raise your hand. Amen. Because I don't know if any kids listen on Facebook. Probably not. Ain't but one way the two shall become one flesh. Well, let me help you anyway. That's the, the because by coming one flesh is how you procreate. Amen. We don't say baby now. Yeah. Ain't it funny how the Lord Jesus Himself said that? Yeah. He got to leave. Adam had to leave God to be with his wife that they may become one flesh. Because He knew before they matured in Him, they would have to deal with the antics. Of their flesh. Yes. Uh -huh. So God gave a male and a female to each other yes. to satisfy the flesh. Yes. Because that's the first thing going to get in your way. Uh -huh. It's your flesh, your worldly yes. desires, your physical desires. Yes. It's going to talk louder than the Holy Ghost. Yes. How many times the Lord tell you, uh-uh, don't do that, yeah. and you you were on your way to doing it while he told you not to do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you didn't just turn around. Nope. And he kept talking to you. Yeah. Even talking to you while you was doing the church. Y'all gonna play with me today. Oh my God. Y'all ain't gonna make me think y'all ain't gonna make me think that. Uh-uh. Yeah. 